Alright, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a trail game pass in Roblox Studio so you can sell trails to different players in your game. So the first thing we need to do is actually make the game pass itself. So if you find your games page on the Roblox website, I've got mine here, and then just go to the store tab and click on add pass. You can then make a pass for your trail, so just add an image, so click choose file and find an image. And once you've chosen an image, just click on it and then you need to give it a pass name, so I'm just going to call it Rainbow Trail. Then you can give it a description if you want, and if you don't want to, you can just click preview, and then click verify upload, and it'll say pass successfully created, and you've now created your game pass. So where it says pass, you can just click on that, and it'll open your game pass. So this is our new game pass. We now need to put it on sale, so if you just click the three dots and click configure, you can then go down to sales, turn on item for sale, and give it a price, so I'll just make it five robux. Then when you're done, just click save, and click go to details. So, now we need to copy the uh, Game Pass ID. So, in the URL bar at the top, you just want to copy this number. So, select it, right click, and click copy. And then we can go back into Roblox Studio. So, now you're in your game. You first of all want to make a script in Server Script Service. Just insert a script. I uh, just call it Trail Game Pass. And then in this script, you first of all want to make a variable for Marketplace Service. So, local MPS equals game colon get service. Marketplace Service. And then we want one for the game pass ID, so local game pass ID equals, and then you can paste that number. And now we need to first of all make the trail, and then we need to give it to the player. So to make the trail, you just click on the plus in the script and add a trail. And then in this trail, you can click on it and change some of the properties. So if I want to make it rainbow, click on color and then click these three dots. You can then give it a gradient, so I'm going to start it on red. And then 0.2 on the time, I'm going to make it change to a purpley colour. And then 0.4, I'm going to change it to a lighter blue. And then 0.6, I'm going to change it to green. And then 0.8, I'm going to change it to orange. And then at 1, I'm just going to change it back to red. So that's basically how you make a rainbow trail. You can then just click close. And if you want to change any of the other properties, you can. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And then back in this trail game pass script. We then want an event that fires every time a player joins the game. So how you can do that is just game.players.playeradders. Tell one connect function. And then take the player object. And then we want to know whenever the player has a new character. So player.characteradded. Tell one connect function. And then we take the character model there. So I'm just going to call it char. And now we need to check if the player owns this game pass first. So we want to say if MPS, come on, user owns game pass async. And then the player's user ID, so player dot user ID, and then a comma, and then the game pass ID, which is just this game pass ID variable we made a second ago, and then then. And now we need to put the trail in the player. So first of all, if you click on the trail, you can see there's two attachments that we need. So we need to put two attachments in the player. If your characters in the game are R6, you want to put these attachments in the head and in the torso. But since mine is R15, I'm going to have one in the lower torso and one in the upper torso. So first we need to make these attachments. So I'm going to say local attachment one equals, and then we need to make a new attachment. So instance.new attachment. And then this one, I'm going to put it in the character's upper torso. So char upper torso. Again, if this is a R6 character that you're using it on, you just want to do char head. And then we're going to make the second attachment. So local attach to equals instance dot new attachment again and the comma and then char dot lower torso. So now we've made our attachments, we can just clone this trail. So local trail equals grip dot trail colon clone and then trail dot attachment zero equals attachment one and then trail dot attachment one equals attach two. Really, we should have named this attachment 0 and attachment 1, but it doesn't matter. So now I just want to change the trail's parent. So trail.parent equals character dot lower torso. And now when you play the game, if you own the game pass, when your player spawns, you will have a rainbow trail or whatever trail you've made before. So that was how you can make a trail game pass in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.